Hello everyone, Christophe Rule here and welcome to Rule's Kitchen. Today we are going to make a beautiful apple pie with almond strozzle. Are you ready? Put your apron on and let's get started. Uh, so let's not wait and start peeling. All right, so I'm not gonna bother you watching me peeling one kilo something of apple. So let's use the magic of the technology. All right, so now that my apple are cut, I'm going to cut them in half. And then in half. And the way that I'm doing to re remove the, the seed, I'm going the lazy way, but the fastest way, I'm just going to cut it just like this. There we go. So, voilà. All right, so now my uh, apple or uh, cut in, in half. I'm gonna cut a little bit uh, slices like this. You want, you don't want the slice to be too big, but not too thin. Uh, so I will let you adjust depending on the apple that you are using. But this is a size that ideally I like to have. We have our apple that are ready. Now, let me introduce you to our ingredients. We have our sugar, honey, butter, vanilla bean, my secret ingredient, butter and cornstarch. We will do a slurry and I will show you later how it goes. All right, let's start the caramel now. So first step is adding the sugar. Voila, your sugar start to melt slowly. So for this step, you really want to stay um, next to the sugar. Huh? Just want to make sure to caramelize evenly. Then I'm going to add my honey. Mm, nice caramelization. And then when I get a beautiful dark caramel color, I can deglaze with my butter. Once the butter is completely melted, then I adding my apple. And then mix, mix, mix. So you want to mix really well your apple huh? with the caramel and then we're going to let cook the apple until it's um, tender I will say al dente so not too hard not too soft you don't want the apple to be mushy but you don't want them to be too hard so you have to find the the right balance My favorite ingredients, one of my favorite ingredients, the vanilla bean. So to cut the vanilla bean, I'm going to use my knife and a cutting board. And I'm going to go from top to bottom. Then I'm going to use the back of my knife 
and scrape and scrape the vanilla bean this way in one side and on the other side. And then I'm going to put the vanilla bean inside as well as my seeds. And just because I really like vanilla bean, I'm going to use two for this recipe. If you don't have vanilla bean, you can always use some vanilla extract. Actually, Nelson Massey is a really good brand for vanilla bean. Just a little uh, hand hand. Do it again. Voilà. And then you can mix all your vanilla bean hmm, with your apple. So your apple starting to uh, cook. I can see nice coloration over here. I like to leave my vanilla bean inside it's just to give more flavor. Huh? So you know when you are uh, apple or cooked enough when they start to be a little bit translucid. So when I mean translucid is uh, uh, some of them, because they are small, you can see a little bit of this one is a little bit um, uh, changing color and you can see, uh, you can see through almost. Uh, so that's what I mean uh, by translucid, like this one will be perfect. We're going to cook a little bit uh, more, uh, but we are really close right now. And because we are going to bake the apple pie in the oven a little bit more, you don't want them to be mushy. So right now I'm going to stop and strain my apples. All right, look at those beautiful apples. They are ready. So what I want to do is now is to strain my apple so I can get all the yummy juice. Mmm. So now we are straining the apple and do not throw away the mix, okay? I'm telling you this because I seen people throwing away the mix. And uh, actually all the flavor from the apple pie will depend on that mix. So do not throw it away, okay? And then and then put aside your cooked apple for now. And then we're going to take this beautiful juice, which is full of uh, vanilla bean right now. And all the flavor is going to depend on that liquid. And then we're going to put it back in the pot. All right, so now we have our apple or bake on the side. We have our juice that is in the pot we want to start to do the slurry. The slurry will be a mix of cornstarch and water, and that's going to help to make the juice a little bit thicker, because right now it's too liquidy. We want something that is thick to combine the apple and to bring some texture to it. So let's do it. Water, cornstarch. Mix both together until is well combined. And that's it. All right, so now my whole juice is boiling. Then you add 
your slurry, and then you mix it. So it's, go it's going to start to be thicker and thicker. It's normal, do not stress out. We want it to be thick. That's the consistency we want. Something really thick. Okay? Voilà. So once you get to that consistency, you can stop it. So now that our caramel is thick enough, you want to cool it down before adding your apple. So what I'm going to do is to transfer it into a bowl. And then put it in a freezer until it's completely cold. Then I will be able to mix my apple. So now my apple and sauce cool down. I'm going to mix everything together. Voilà. Mm. And then we mix the apple. And then I'm going to put back everything in the cooler and we can move on into our pie dough. All right, so now it's time to make our apple pie dough. So for the apple pie dough, I have a few ingredients here. The flour, the butter, I have salt, water, and one whole egg. And if you want, the whole recipe is going to be in the description below. So the first thing is obviously adding my flour. Then my salt, and then I put the butter in a freezer uh, because when you want to do a pie dough, you want to have the pieces of butter not completely dissolve and combine with all the ingredients. You still want to see some pieces of butter and that's what's going to give you the crunchiness of the dough. So my butter is cut in small pieces and I put it in a freezer for about 30 minutes. So we add the butter. Voilà. Then mix. Then we add the water. And the egg. And then we mix. Ah, voilà. So now you can see the, uh, the dough is starting to get uh, uh, together. I see the, the butter is mixing with the water and the eggs and all the ingredients. We are almost, almost good to go. You don't want to over mix the dough and be careful. Sometimes it's even better to finish it by hand. Actually, that's what I'm going to do right now. And now we want to combine everything together. And you can see we have the pieces of butter over here that are not completely mixed with the dough. That's a really good sign. I'm going to make a a small piece like this and then wrap it and put it in a cooler. So while our uh, dough is resting, uh, we are going to do our almond strozel. So the almond strozel is pretty much going to be the texture that we're going to put on the top of our pie and uh, that's gonna bring some, uh, some crunchiness. So I would like to highlight a, a beautiful um, uh, almond flour today from Amoretti. This is what I'm going to use. Uh, really thin, it works well for macaron and uh, so much other utilization. So if you want to check them out, uh, Amoretti, it's uh, a secret tool for pastry chefs. So for this almond strozel, we're going to add our butter. Really simple recipe. Sugar, a 
And I'm using sugar in a row for this one. It's just gonna bring extra crunchiness to it. Flour. And almond flour. And then we mix everything together in a medium speed. Really easy. If you are allergic to nuts, I will recommend just to substitute the almond flour with regular flour. Et voilà. Our strozzle is ready. So what I'm going to do is to just form a little ball like this. And I will put it in the freezer. Freezer. And then we're going to use a secret tool. You'll see. You'll see. Hey Siri, on what are you baking a pie? Okay, let's call it a pie dish. I think Siri doesn't want to collaborate today. All right, so rolling pan, dough, a little bit of flour, and our pie dish. You want to put a little bit of flour over the top, on the table, on both sides of the dough. Okay. And then we start to roll the dough. So obviously you want uh, <coughs> your dough to be larger than your pan huh? because you have to take in consideration the, the, the side. Huh? Uh, so it's really important. And then I'm going to take my dough, put it in half. Then I'm going to come halfway. And then take my dough and put it on the other half. And then little by little, I will put my dough on the bottom of my dish. Voilà. And you want to pinch the inside of your dish just to make sure that your dough is all the way down the dish and then flat on the top. You follow me? Yeah? Okay. Because uh, I'm stressing out right now. It's like I never done a pie before. We're going to cut the edges. Then I am going to make a little border over here just because I can. Just so you know, my oven is at 360 Fahrenheit right now. Okay. And with the border of the knife, I just make it extra nice. Huh? All 
beautiful apple pie. And then I'm going to pinch it with my finger to make a little decor. So now we have everything ready. I'm just gonna use my um, apples and put it inside my pie shell. Mm. Mm. Look at this. And then you can remove your vanilla bean. Huh? And voila, nice. And then my secret tool, cheese grater. Are you ready? So now my dough is completely frozen. This is uh, a strozel. Uh, I am going to use a cheese grater and I'm going to grate the dough the same way as I will grate the cheese. Um, and that's gonna make a beautiful uh, crunchy layer on the top of my apple pie. Well, I'll try to be less messy than me, huh? All right, so now our apple pie is almost uh, ready to put it in the oven. We're going to put a little egg wash over the top and that's gonna make our dough really, really shiny. Voilà. So you want to put the egg wash. See, it's already shiny. All right, let's go in the oven now. Let's set the oven at 40 minutes. Mmm, look at this. Beautiful. Oh, yes. That looks so good. Oh, yes. That is so satisfying it's snowing in my kitchen and this is it everyone this is how to make a beautiful apple pie topped with almond strozel if you like this video do not forget to subscribe and to hit the little bell and you will be notified each and every single recipes until then au revoir and see you next time